Hello everybody and welcome. In this video, I will show you 23 keyboard shortcuts to use in the terminal that every Linux user should know. So the first keyboard shortcut is in fact to launch the terminal, which is Control Alt and T. So you press on your keyboard Control Alt T and you launch the terminal. So the second shortcut is Control D. Control D and you quit the terminal. Okay. So again, Control Alt T to launch the terminal, Control D to quit the terminal. The third shortcut is Control Shift and V. So Control Shift and V will paste anything that you have in the clipboard. So regularly in the file manager, you press Control V to paste and Control C to copy. But in the terminal, you have to add the shift button. And for example, if you want to copy, for example, let me select this here. And if I press Control Shift C, I have copied this portion here. And if I do some space and then control shift V and as you can see it pasted what we just selected here so the next command is control L to clear the screen for example if I press enter here it tells me that there is no hello command here and control L will in fact clear the screen for me okay so let me repaste my text here the next command is control A so control A is you go to the beginning of the command and the next command is control E, you go to the end of the command. So control A, as you can see here, just look at the cursor here. Control A, you go to beginning. Control E, you go to the end. So the next command is control B. So control B, you go backward one character. As you can see, control B and you go backward one character. Alt B and you go backward one word. Okay, as you can see, Alt B. So the opposite is F, instead of B, the F which is forward so alt f you go forward one uh, word and control f you go forward one character so alt f one word control f one character the next command is control xx so we press twice the x so control xx and you switch from whatever the position of the cursor is to the beginning so as you can see I press the control XX and I went to the beginning of my command. If I press it again, it will go back to whatever the cursor is. Okay, so it's useful if you want to go to the beginning and change something, then go back to whatever you were and change the other things. Okay, so control XX to switch back from the beginning to whatever the cursor is. The next command is control D. Okay, so control D will delete the character that is under the cursor okay so here we have the l that is under the cursor so control d will delete the l okay alt d will delete whatever is after the cursor as you can see it will delete the next word not the next character but the next word that is after the character so for example here it will delete the user and then the, it will delete sh so alt d first it deleted user and then alt d and deleted the next so you can go back for example with the control a and to go to the beginning and then you press alt d to delete everything okay the next keyboard shortcut is alt t and alt t will switch between two words so the two last words here so if i press alt t it will switch between should the word should and the word no so as you can see it's switching two words and Control T, in fact, will switch two characters. So Control T here will switch between O and W. So Control T, and as you can see, it switch between O and W. This is useful, for example, if I'm, if you mistype a command, for example, instead of this, I, I mistyped and I typed T H S I instead of T H I S, and here Control T, and everything is uh, correct. So the next keyboard shortcut is Alt u so u for uppercase okay and this command will in fact capitalize it will make the word anything that starting from the cursor to the end uh, of the word will be in capital in uppercase so alt u and as you can see it switch this to uppercase for example if i go to user alt u and it will change user to capital again alt u it switch should to uppercase the opposite is l for lowercase and so alt l will change whatever after the cursor to lowercase for example if i go back here so control l excuse me alt l and it switched to lowercase 
but if you want to make in capital only one character what you do is alt c so it will change only one character so the cursor is under the t so if i press alt c it will bring the t to uppercase so the next command is control c so for example i have this cat command and if i press enter cat command is waiting for my keyboard input okay so if i press cat again it's reading cat and outputting it to the screen to the terminal and it's waiting again for a new input and so on so it's gonna be like this and so on and so on okay so if i want to quit this command here what i what i can do is press the control c on my keyboard and it will quit so the next keyboard shortcut is control r control r will allow you to search in your command history so for example we saw that we did a cat command so as you can see this is my search here and this is the command that it shows me that i did okay so i can delete my cat and i can search for ls and i this is the ls command that i did and if i want for example if I want to uh, execute this command, what I can do is control O to execute it. And as you can see, it executed this command and it gives me this file here ls on my desktop. Okay. And for example, so control R to search again. And if I do, for example, the uh, for update, as you can see, it gives me this command here. And let's say I don't want to run it. So what I can do is control G and I quit without running the command history so again control r you search for the command that you want control o and you execute this command and control c here to exit whatever so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up and comment in the section below especially if you want me to do videos about special topic or anything that you want thanks for watching and take care